Hi, welcome back. This is Mrs. Kramer again. Today we're going to learn about how to create a winter tree collage. We've been studying two artists, John James Audubon from the 1800s and Charlie Harper from our century. John Audubon first rose to fame through the 435 magnificent paintings he created for his landmark work known as Birds of America that detailed more than 700 bird species. He shot and killed every bird he painted. Audubon was a noted hunter and taxidermist, and much of the money he made during his lifetime was from selling animal skins. Now you may be wondering, what is taxidermy? Taxidermy is a Greek word that means the arrangement of skin. It is the act of taking skin of an animal and preserving it by putting it on a fake body. Taxidermed animals can be mounted and put on display, and sometimes you'll find them in a museum or someone's home. People who taxidermy animals are called taxidermists. Many hunters and fishers will prepare their animals in this way that they have caught or killed to keep as trophies. Ones that are on display in museums are used to make dioramas for educational purposes. Some people taxiderm their pets after they die. Charlie Harper, born in 1922, was a Cincinnati-based American modernist artist. In a style he called minimal realism, Charlie Harper captured the essence of his subjects with a few possible visual elements using mainly geometric shapes. During his career, Charlie Harper illustrated numerous books, notably the Golden Book of Biology, magazines such as Ford Times, as well as many prints, posters, and other works. As his subjects are mainly natural, with birds prominently featured, Charlie often created works for many nature-based organizations, among them the National Park Service, Cincinnati Zoo, and Cincinnati Nature Center. When asked to describe his unique visual style, Charlie responded, When I look at wildlife or nature subject, I do not see the feathers in the wings. I just count the wings. I see exciting shapes color combinations, patterns, textures, fascinating behavior, and endless possibilities for making interesting pictures. something different today. Here is some black paint on a paper plate and this is going to be my paintbrush. It's a new painting tool and it's just a thick piece of uh, cardboard. Now remember to have your painting placement underneath and that will help keep our uh, messes to a minimum. So I'm going to take this and at the small side I'm just going to dip this into black paint. Not too much and I'm just going to start by drawing lines. You can decide to turn your paper horizontal where you get a lot of little trees or if you go vertical, you get much taller tree. I'm gonna go taller, and all I'm gonna do is slowly and carefully maybe just pinch and get close to the black paint, and I'm gonna slowly try to draw a line, and that will be the beginning of my trunk. If you see there's some uh, less paint there, you can go back and add some more. Okay. So I'm gonna continue making lines, and the fun part about this is you can make your trees really skinny, really thin, or you can make them wider. It's up to you. I want you to have fun with this and try to capture individual trees. Some friends found they didn't like dragging and they decided to kind of stamp it down. <music> the second part and this part is really fun you gotta go slow and you really got to control your uh, paint scraper here the second part is you're going to drag your scraper across each trunk so I'm gonna start up here at the top 
and I'm going to slowly and lightly just pull. Okay, so you can start to see how this technique, and I'm going to flip this over, will give you textured tree bark. Okay. And if it's too light, you can go back over and make some. and experimenting and um, hopefully you'll get some really good trees out of that.